So the first thing we'll do now is to show that in the standard model and in the rigid wage model, all unemployment is uh, frictional. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there is no job rationing in this model. So that's going to be in the standard model and in the rigid wage model. Okay, so how are we going to uh, show that? Well, to show that all unemployment is frictional, we have to show that um, we need to show that if matching frictions disappear, unemployment disappears. Okay. Uh, <coughs> if there are no matching friction, all unemployment disappears. And uh, there are two ways to show that. In a sense, there are two ways to um, make the matching frictions disappear. Uh, the simplest way is to show that uh, if so, the matching frictions, how do they manifest themselves? On the firm side, they manifest themselves because they make it. Uh, you know, they exist because there's a cost of advertising a vacancy. If advertising a vacancy was free, you could post infinitely many vacancies and get whatever you want. So the manifestation of this friction, the fact that it takes time and the fact that it takes effort to fill your vacancies, uh, manifests itself by the fact that the roasting cost is positive. So one way to, to look at what happened if there were no magic friction is to show that if R goes to zero, where R, you remember, is a routine cost, then U, U, the level of unemployment and the unemployment rate, they go to zero. That's by taking, uh, kind of the, looking at the firm side of things for the matching friction. Where R, uh, that's our routine, that's the parameter that captures the routine cost. Okay, and the second way to do it, is to look more at the worker at the worker side. Uh, so in general, we just assume that workers they search with some effort that we can normalize to one, uh, and then you know it takes them it takes time for them to find a job. But one way in which uh, you can make frictions disappear more from the worker side is by assuming that work, uh, assuming that workers search with an infinite search effort. If they search with an infinite search effort. Um, whatever the job finding rate per unit of effort is, workers will be able to find a job um, immediately. And then, you know, as a result, also in equilibrium, your tightness will go to zero, and on the firm side, firms will also be able to recruit without any problem. Okay? So we can show another way to show that if E, where E is a new parameter that I haven't introduced yet, which would be the job search effort, if E goes to infinity, <coughs> then U goes to zero. These are two ways to show what happened without matching frictions. And um, these two ways, we'll see, they, they operate in the model slightly differently, but they lead to exactly the same conclusion. They are equivalent approaches. Uh, so we'll, we'll do both just to see because both are interesting and for policy questions. Um, it's good to know both of these things because some policy act at uh, reducing the working cost, some policy act by increasing job search effort. So it's good to know like how these two things affect the model. And in fact, then you can use that for basic policy analysis uh, by looking at you know what 
you know, what, that, what the effect of policies that uh, re reduce recruiting costs, such as placement agencies, and what the effect of policies that increase job search effort, such as uh, monitoring of job seekers, for instance, or helping job seekers uh, finding jobs. Okay, and so we are going to show, we are going to look at what happens when R goes to zero, and so this one, when R goes to zero, and when effort goes to infinity, we're going to go look at that both in the matching, in the standard matching model and in the rigid wage matching model. But it turns out that the analysis will be exactly the same. Uh, the analysis will be exactly the same in both models. Okay. So let's start by looking at what happens when the recruiting cost goes to zero because it's easier. We don't need to modify the model in any way. We don't need to introduce new parameters. 